Euro. Watch Euro. Euro. There goes my Euro. There goes my Euros. I just said that. There goes my Euros. Like what? I just came up with that. I said that. I just said that. Do you That's mean? what it's like when someone steals your joke. That's the feeling. You just felt that feeling because you've done that to me many times. I ne- I've never done that. You don't have anything worth stealing except that little fur ball on your lap. And I'll say that right now. If he goes missing, check my paws. Hello, everyone. It's good to be back for another week here in the infamous brick, the background. Oh, man, you're so proud of that, aren't you? My neighbor. <laughs> what? Is that coffee I, am pr- I am proud don't of it. I am proud. Don't. Oh. I can't believe you just be slip. mad because you don't have a brick wall. <laughs> no, your neighbor. Your neighbor was so My shocked because he thought you you were the one who had it. He they asked me what I do for a living, and I said a podcast. I don't know which part of my life is the most is the least shameful. What do I say? YouTuber? Do I say TikTok? It's all bad. So somehow podcaster is the best part. And then they're like, okay, let me see. And then now my neighbor watches. Uh, the podcast and he goes next time i see him i'm like hey looks like we're getting some rain and he goes do you have a brick wall in your apartment it's crazy these millennials they really do like their brick wall he was immediately envious he was going to call the landlord to have his drywall ripped out he starts getting close to you he starts trying to actually be friends the brick Damn. and then i invite him into my house one day and he and he just like walks up to the wall and he's like I'm like, are you good, man? He's like, we should hang out more. He says, <laughs> "Ew, I hate this world, man. I hate life." I well, it's materialistic, so materialistic of him. And if you're listening, Hamza's neighbor, you're a very materialistic. person. Wait, he listens. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I know, and I want to run with you. I know you're doing great on the runs. So uh, next time you see me in the halls, um, I would like to run with you. You did the marathon. This is this is the this is the problem when you have a podcast is like you can say stuff and then you, you're like, oh my god anyone can see this so well I'm definitely seeing the repercussions yeah. as of late I hi mean, mom hi dad you're not on the freaking local news do you have anyone you want to shout out uh, um, mom dad uh shout out to William my friend from grade two yeah that's a, it's always their friend I have no friend w- that would. I would not shout out any. I wouldn't shout you out if I got freaking if I was on ESPN for a second. Anybody you want to shout out, Hamza? No. Shout out to f- yourself. Myself. Shout out to me who made it this far. To on like on life. Yeah. On difficulty hard. No, we did make it. We did make it. We really made it. We have a podcast together, a YouTube gaming YouTube channel together. What else do we have? What else do we have? A good friendship. You know what? what else do we have? We're like the f- we're like when they survey the kids and they're like, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And that's us. We did it. We're not YouTuber. <laughs> we are that. I want to be before not YouTuber. By a technicality, we're not like actual. We're not like Cipher PK. Not a really technicality. I'll take that to the okay. chest. You're ashamed of it. I mean, but um. No, for, I'll take Fortnite YouTuber. You know, they're updating it a lot, but I'll stick with it. You know, the new skins. I just bought the new, was it Millie Bobby Brown skin? Oh my God, yeah. Really fun. Well, I was saying, yeah, because you were showing me you had a Millie Bobby Brown skin, and then I was like, why do people want themselves as skins in this game? Because mm. when you sh- started playing the emotes, it's like, that's when it clicked in. That's when it clicked. I was like, wait, you don't even understand the embarrassment that's going to happen when you get added to the game is like people can put these emotes on you that make you look like a fool. Millie Bobby Brown, why are you hitting the dancing the a Dougie? dynamite? Why are you hitting the Dougie? Yeah. Hit, hit, why are you, you know, Louis Hamilton doesn't fully understand that people are going to be hitting the Quan with him after they double pump someone. It's, it's only a matter of time before like Biden is, gets put into the game and then whoa. he starts hitting the freaking Quan. You should do that once the elections start, you know, you need the young vote. Actually, that would be yeah, that would literally be actually, awesome. Yeah, that would Maybe vote. Kamala would cranking nineties with Miss Harris. Yeah, I'd like to see that. They, they haven't really gotten into politics. And yeah, maybe Netanyahu and Fortnite or something might change things. Wow, I mean, and the, okay, we, we don't know. Like, we don't know. Gen Z. I mean, we're side. We're all siding with Palestine. But hey, if, if I see Netanyahu in Fortnite and Crank he's hitting him. some like, I'm cranking his ass, and yeah. I'm, I'm gonna box him like a fish and uh, immediately send him to the freaking lobby. That's what I'll do. It's a threat. 
Don't come to Toronto, Netanyahu. You're not safe. When I die, though, or right before I'm about to die, I want myself to be a Fortnite skin. Mm. Because I'm going to be, whatever, 100 or something, hopefully. They're not, they're not adding a 100-year-old Martin to this. No, it won't be a 100-year-old. It'll be me when I'm young. Oh. So that I'll forever be young in Fortnite and hitting all the emotes and stuff like that. You're always going to be up to yeah. trends with the latest dances. Yeah. Even at your grave. Yeah. My lower back is starting to hurt and stuff like that. I'm starting to hit that age, no. I think, when I'm when I'm getting a little bit, like, achy. And well, so I can't be hitting those Fortnite dances we're anymore. All, we're almost... And, and we do this every episode. Somehow. Um... When I, you guys see, sometimes you dance together in these TikToks and working with you is like working with a, a geriatric, what does geriatric mean? I don't want to use it. I've always been curious. Geriatric meaning. As an adjective, geriatric means relating to old people, especially with regard to oh. their health care. Yeah. No, I had high blood pressure the other day and stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm, I am dragging you down and I sincerely apologize. Like I, I know it's hard working and dancing with someone. It's hard to dance with yeah. you, but I tried dancing with Max and I can't keep up with him. So. No, yeah. well, you need to get on your feet. I don't like how close your feet are. Um, I'm wearing the freaking heat tech stuff. You guys don't, I literally feel like I'm wearing yoga pants. My crotch is so snug. To my crack, all the way back. You've been wearing this heat tech for like five. Okay, days in I walk. You know I did at the this laundry. Point, it's stink you tech. know I did the. <laughs> you really thought that was funny, huh? <laughs> you really thought that was funny. I, uh, you know, I did the laundry yesterday, so this is actually, and and I'm wearing underwear as well, which is actually, I believe, it's extra protocol. You're not even supposed to do that. Oh my God, I don't even want to. I don't even want to imagine what it's like to take off a pair of leggings after five days. It's like, I as I said, I just washed them. You're like the idiot in freaking eighth grade who'd make fun of me for wearing like same thing you're the guy who's like you wore that two days in a no, row no i do that because i was bullied for that so and i know face. and you still do you should should still be bullied and you can't even see it this is undergarment but anyway right now i feel tight and i and i've and i also like i'm eating very healthy so my poops come out really nice so this morning i had a really nice poop then i shower then i put on some yoga pants i feel like my my abdomen is hollow. Like I feel like a taxid I'm taxidermied from the bottom down. It feels great. I feel light. I can dance. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try that? Yeah, huh? maybe, maybe I should get some uh, heat tech. Some heat tech. And I feel warm. It's really getting pushed. It's you know. It's, it's I've been seeing the brand. You see them, right? Or we're pushing it. I think. No, kids. that's why I didn't get any because it's not on my for you page. My oh. for you page is f full of other things. What do you have on your for you page? Oh come on, you know the classics. Maybe some, though I, I'm getting a lot of those cat um, memes where the boyfriend, girlfriend, the, the boyfriend's mean to the, the girlfriend. And, and it's all like, instead of boyfriend, girlfriend, it's cat, two cats and they're meowing at each other. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you see this, it's like, it's like, and it's like, huh? The one cat that goes, huh? Oh, that one, the white, it's a white cat maybe? Yeah, but there's huh? a bunch of them. It's like, they're doing like a little play. I don't know. I haven't gotten that deep. I got the start of it, but I didn't know it was still going. No, I send that to Mandy every day, and she sends me one back. It's really cute. It's like a couple TikTok. It's different. We're on a different... I'm getting Sebastian. No, I get those Sebastian, two. I get his those girlfriend. two. He's, they're I'm, still dating? I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting freaking... Orange skin, Sebastian. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting... Um, He's dating who? Laura? No, Seb no, Sebastian and his girl and his girl... Oh, oh. We're oh, thinking two oh different God, Sebastians. Fernanda. Fernandez. Yeah, I'm getting her. I'm getting other couples and stuff. I'm I'm slowly getting like uh, conditioned. Yeah, indoctrinated. You're becoming soft. Yeah, I'm getting soft. We were talking about that when there's like dudes that just don't, that can't accept that they're just like a soft boy couple guy. You know what I mean? Like when they're in a relationship and then they try to act like super tough and they're like, help me out here. Might be you. No, I'm the, no, I'm the one that's like, hey, I'm in a relationship. I love being in a relationship. You and like then being soft. That try to, they almost like they don't act they're, like they're single. Oh, but they're like, you uh, don't it's hard to put to words. You, if you guys know a guy like that, then you know. Well, what you I'm gotta talking give about. more description. I'm, uh, I'm trying. I can. I'm not. It's that like type someone of guy. It's who hard. doesn't claim his his woman. No, he claims his women, but he, but it, it's almost women. like you Ooh. forget. You forget that Multiple. he's. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> you forget that he's in a relationship by the way by the way he carries himself. So how do you carry yourself and let people know you're in a relationship? What are some telltale signs? Um, I walk with a slouch. Wow. That's depressing. Because man. I'm because I have the burden of another person in my life that okay. I have to carry and carry. 
You know, what I about carry my love and it and it's wearing me down. And then I and then um, turn off maybe off. someone who um, probably doesn't dress as well anymore. Because when you're what? when you're single, I gotta move this mic closer. Oh my god, this is like podcast one one. Um, someone who wears you know not as good clothing because you're not trying to impress anyone. Exactly. And also out of shape, um, just kind of loss of drive, yeah. things like that. I've got it all, and um, and that's something I would have to cope with. I gave uh, Emma Chamberlain a full hearty listen this morning. Her podcast, of just fully un um. How do you, what's the word? Untainted. I was really coming in because we watched her 30 minute vlog over her Discord. Her new one, yeah, that came out do. of like a, couple, a, week, a week ago. Maybe longer. It was called Are You Mad At Me? Anyway, her life is crazy. Like, no, people don't live like this. So it's interesting to watch. The most beautiful home we've ever seen in mm-hmm. our lives. Nut milk. She makes nut she milk. She makes nut milk. And we were shot. <laughs> We were looking, <laughs> we looked it up. We were about to buy the same machine. She got us. Affiliate marketing genius. So I listened to the podcast wholeheartedly. And we know the whole. Sh- what is scenario. that? Spiel? Oh, oh my God. She's not educated. I, 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 I. Yeah. And I was like. And what's the verdict after I was listening? going into it really like, you know what? Get off of her, right? She's just a girl mm-hmm. in the world. And unfortunately, they're right. Like it. <sighs> Damn it. And I wish they weren't, but... I really did. Like, I'm... No, 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 no. This is so lame and so uh, unfortunate. I thought it was great. It just wasn't for me. I think that's a good way to put it. The okay. whole The whole time I'm listening, I'm like, who is this for? Because I am a 21-year-old man and I'm an adult. I'm a big boy. I'm not a young girl in the world. Mm-hmm. And that's what she is. And that's what it's for. Oh, like young. I'm, and you have to be young, I would say. Yeah, and I'm getting there. I'm a, you know. Yeah, you have to be a young girl. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Why would I say anything about it? You know what? This is catching because we. I do. Sometimes I get clipped and I seem like a hater, and I gotta watch out because I'm not a hater. I just have things to say. That's all. You're a human that is processing things and out loud on a podcast. Of course, there's gonna be clips of you hating on things. It's not even that. It's like, what do you mean? Who was who would want to watch a podcast where where it's extremely positive? That's true. That's that why. is the that is Emma Chamberlain's podcast. That's actually <laughs> what it was kind of missing because the whole she was talking about relationships and I'm like, give me a name, girl, give me yeah, something. Yeah, some, What's going let's on? Send some shots out. And boom, she's like, boom. so there are people in this world, and some of them are good, and some of them. Whoa! It's like you. It's like it's like a dude. It's the same energy as a dude who like is on a date with a girl. Yeah, and the girl's like. What's your favorite color? He says blue. And she's like, oh, mine's yellow. And he's are like, you, actually, mine's yellow, too. Are you dating a fifth grader? Well, that's th- it's that's the thing. It's like, dude, you need to pick a side. You need to stand your ground, stand on some business. Standing on Gen business. Gen Z would say. Standing on business, of course. But come on. we can't. You can't watch a podcast that has no opinions. Oh my God. You're just sitting there going in circles. and. I think it's possible. What podcast? That's my goal. I want to do that. Name some names. Come on. Patreon exclusive out of character with me. That's what it <laughs> no is. No opinions on there. There's no opinions. My brain is shut. I talk about like my pants fitting me and stuff. I don't think I got opinions on pants. And I got these new pants I'm really liking. So and these ultra tech. Yeah, it even leaked here. I'm talking about my freaking. You know. Yeah, lower. you talk about your pants a lot, man. I do. No, I don't. I don't. Can we talk about my pants? Those aren't fun. Those are fun and they fit you well. I love these corduroys. I was worried when you got them a little early in the year. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's like 70 degrees. You seem a little, you know, warm. It's like me rocking freaking heat tech in the summer. But now it's coming in clutch. Riveting stuff here, guys. And I don't know if you can hear the lisp in my voice. I'm wearing my Invisalign maybe for the first time on a podcast. I work so hard to hide this part of my life. Yeah, why are you so embarrassed about your Invisalign? I'm not. I do it out of courtesy because of a lisp that may appear. That's all. Well, you don't do any of that out of courtesy because I've caught you numerous times with your freaking elastics and you're just taking them out like I will. in front of me and put those back in your mouth, man. Well, that's just, uh, I, I've been on them for 12 months. If you're on the fence on getting an Invisalign, hell no. Don't do it. I, it... Here's my rule. Only get Invisalign if you are disciplined. I mean disciplined. Like you 
maybe as a test, book a marathon in a couple of months and train for it, finish that, then get the Invisalign because it has taken more discipline to do this more than anything in my life. Mm. Anything. Maybe that's a testament to how unchallenging my life is, but maybe it's a testament to how okay, difficult this is. Okay, so you need to clear is. this up. Why have you, why did you why have you had Invisalign for like four years? Not four. I've never met anyone like you. No, uh, I'm on a year and a half. Started at August. The longest year and a half of my life. Yeah, maybe longer. Is it because you keep maybe two years screwing up and you have to restart? Is this what's going on? Yes, I screwed up twice. Because it's the Otis is fully on you. You can, it's choose your own adventure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me just do this. If you're on the fence, let me give you the scoop. Because there's some some people, you know, maybe have some crooked teeth and they're on the fence. Here's the scoop, the reality. You will lose weight. I know that seems appetizing, no pun intended. Appetizers is food. Mm -hmm. Appetizing. Um, No, 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 no. You're going to do it and you're going to be hungry and you're going to hate it. It's because every time you eat, you take them out. Then you brush your teeth. It could be 3 p.m. and you want to put them back, brush your teeth, put them back in. Every night you brush the actual Invisalign. I have rubber bands, so I got to put the rubber bands on every single time. So I'm brushing my teeth like four times a day because I have to get them in my mouth 22 hours a day. Just say you don't want to brush your teeth, man. I don't want to, who wants to brush their teeth? And I think that's fine. To going, if I didn't have Invisalign, I would be going 11 out of 14 on the week. I think that's fine. And that's human. I, I, I hate brushing my teeth. I hate it. I hate it. Do you love it? I mean, I don't think anyone loves it. I think it's just something we have to do. I mean, do you love doing your laundry? Here's the you opinions. Love? You guys wanted opinions. I hate brushing my teeth. And I just got hit with that hate. Anyways. No, there's there's stuff in our lives that none of us want to do. Um, but we have to do them. And I think you're doing a good job. So, if, if no, you know, no one's told you this, I don't think. So, I think you're doing a good job. Thanks. Yeah. And they'll put rocks on your mouth. I, have ro- I, have, I can't even, I don't know who I am anymore. My skin is very clear, though. I'm doing a holistic diet. Isn't my skin the clearest? Aren't I glowing? Yeah, no, it's I'm it, dead ass it, it glowing. Really is working I really am you. glowing. I'm eating no processed foods. Um <laughs> it's so lame. This is what you do when you uh I don't know why I punish myself like this. It's what happens to every podcaster. Every podcaster that goes gross. through this. And then you f- immediately feel the need to um yell at people to do the same thing. It's like this is my equivalent of reading a book and then yelling at people for not reading. Mhm. We keep inching closer and closer. I don't think we're out of screen. That's my equivalent. I ate a sweet potato for three days in a row, and now I swear I'm Gandhi. <laughs> didn't he touch little girls? Did you? I did not. No, I'm not enlightened. I'm not there just yet. I want to look this up, actually, the rumors on this. Well, actually, no. Is this is this a religion? Does Gandhi have a religion? Buddhism. Um. No, but there's a, he probably unlocked this other religion when you get rich and famous. There's a religion that they all subscribe to where it's, it has to, it involves something to do with kids. I don't know. Oh, United Talent or like... It's... um, Like Air One. It's something. I don't even know the name. Maybe it's, sci- it's something in subsect of the Scientology. Scientology, Tom Cruise. What? No, I'm being so ignorant right now. What? What is Gandhi? What is Gandhi? Gandhi. What did... Freaking genius? Gandhi. What did he do? Anti-colonial and political activist. Oh, that's what he looks like? I thought he had long hair. No, he actually has quite literally the opposite. What? He was alive in 1948. Wait, he was born in 1869? That's crazy. A long and fruitful fruitful life. 1800s. Imagine being born in the 1800s, man. What a time to be alive. (laughs) Drake, if you ever wrote a song in the 1800s. Clearly, he was a politic ethicist who employed nonviolent resistance to successfully campaign for India's independence from British rule. Oh, my God. Yeah, he starved himself, didn't he? He starved himself because he was really rich and he was way up there. And then he came out of his crib and was like, whoa, people don't have like pizza and stuff like that. Let me see what it's like. Then he did it. He cosplayed as it long enough. 
Then he touched a girl somehow in between. I swear. Cosplaying as a poor person? So that's something he started it. It still happens today. It does. I'm fun to be in the pit. That's what it reminds me of. Kind of, right? Similar, yeah. There's a That's a good way to, to get to people is to pretend that you're poor. Controversial. <coughs> Sorry. My God. It's like my first time clearing my throat on the podcast. I've never done that before. You apologize for it. What has your girlfriend done to you, man? Are you okay? I'm just trying to be polite. That's it. You know, guys, I could have made it. I uh, could have made that stuff up, and I don't want. I don't want to hurt Gandhi's reputation and stuff like that. I mean, I heard it, so I think it's fine. Do you did? I think so too. Am yeah. I mixing something up? No, I think. I think. Please confirm that he had <sighs> intercourse with kids. Jesus. Maybe not intercourse. Maybe that's too. Did far. Gandhi? guys watch the number i can't even turn it i don't know if you guys can see it but he just said gandhi into siri and then it pulled up a contact in my contacts of someone named jesus this is a sign is jesus i'm gonna show this to the camera hang on this changes everything I don't know if they can see that, but guys, this is a sign. This is like when, like Siri, show me a sign. Siri, show me a sign. Siri's that being activated on every device in my house. Whoa, whoa, timer set. The rapture is coming. Time, time of death. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> What's the timer? How long is the timer? How long does the timer? How long did they set? Because this could be a sign of some no, sort. No, no, it canceled. It canceled. The rapture has been canceled, postponed. Woo! Thank God. No, we got to stop. We got religion has become a sore. We can't touch it. I didn't know it was so tricky, but it's actually interesting to see now. I think many kids, youth, the youth is actually, there's a stir up into religion right now. And it's, it is, um, do you think it's because people are lacking purpose in their lives and this? meaningless consumption you know fast dopamine world that it's actually reverting back to the old ways the tenets of many religions do you i'm setting us up for a clip do you think that is good or bad and how does sneako play into it religion is freaking amazing if you're bored huh when you're bored and you have nothing to do, what where do you go? You you want you where the wild where the wild things are. Yes, you can go there, or or you can choose to go to heaven. Where the wild do things you are. The, do you want to go to? Do you want the dunya or the dean? Which one? I want I want dean. Everybody wants dean, but how many? There's a limit. There's a there's a weight limit to, for the elevator to go to dean. Dean Hepshire. It's interesting, uh, you know, I don't uh, know, we just want, it's not interesting, it's such a lame, what am I, I now I'm, 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 now I'm super aware of things, after a couple slip-ups, I mentioned Cody Ko's wife, and ba 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 ba. I mentioned freaking, I mentioned Jesus, Gandhi, speedrun, ga 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 ga, what's here. a safe, what's a topic that, that when someone's cancelled, when someone's in hot water, they revert to, and that's their baseline, you know, what, what would... What's your baseline? No, what's a what's a someone in the spotlight in the limelight? What would they do to revert? You know, their safe space. They always do something. They change their profile picture to, to when they were young. Child, you're right. Anyone that's ever been canceled or anyone that's Loki a bad person is going to have a profile picture that has them as a kid. So scary. That's honestly like insane. I think it's insane to do. Um, you have you have convictions. You have a court date coming up if you've got. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, this is PR. Come on, this is who you're hurting. This is who you're hurting. That's what they do. Yeah. They change their profile. They just say, guys, don't be mad at me because this is who you're mad at. And it's them as a baby. Yeah, we're talking to you, John Mulaney. He he did that? He did that at the, at the peak of his stuff. Of course he did. Although his special was hilarious. One of the best I've ever seen on, and I hate, I don't watch comedies, but I'm not that single of a man. Um, But that was one where I was like, a chill. But apparently did something with his wife, things like that. Mm-hmm. No, this is a this is a pivotal moment, I think, for the Out of Character podcast right here. Um, do we choose to be that podcast that doesn't care about all the shots fired? Like, you know, what I mean? we just we just we just go and go and go. We Run. don't care about all the hate. 
or yeah. do we or do we submit mm. submit to the matrix? Do you want us to be a submissive one, or do you want to be the 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 confident alpha, the one dominant one? Dominant. That's what word. That's the word. Yes, dominant. Which one do you want to be? Choose right now. Red pill or blue well, pill. What if sometimes I want to be a little bit of like big spoon and little spoon? I don't want to, you know. Okay, then cut the blue pill and cut the red pill in half. Combine them together, make purple. Pick the purple pill. I know. Do you use little spoon like genuinely? Yeah. No way. Yeah. It feels Actual. really good to be. I don't held. mean like both of y'all turn the same way. No, and you no, happen no. to be it's the one. It's modified spoon. It's kind of like I'm kind of in her arms a little bit. I love being in Mandy's arms. It makes me feel comfortable. It just makes me feel safe. I don't know. Sometimes you're looking for that. But is that really a thing? You gotta like you schedule in. You write that in. Like no, tonight. no schedule. Just when, just when I'm maybe hmm. when I'm feeling anxious a bit or something. Like a stomach ache or something like that. Yeah, just when I'm feeling a little bit scared, maybe. So you really turn to the same wall when I get a hate comment on TikTok. Then I do that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mandy, look what they said about me, and then I crawl into her arms, and she says it's okay. And what if one day she wants to to be the big spoon, so she leaves a hate comment on her alternate account, and just kind of a, as a roundabout way to get you in her arms? Oh my god, I never thought of that. You think she does that? Look. You look at her intentions. She just wants you to be in her arms. I think it's fine. Mm. Um, m- you know what were we saying right before I brought up the well, spoon? Where do you want to go with this podcast? You have to choose the now. big spoon, little spoon. I think they should chime in. What would you guys like us to be? Would you guys like us to be more dominant or submissive? And and also like, because leftovers just left. That was as dominant as you it just came. screwed it up. Why? But that was because, submissive. Because that's submissive. It's oh asking, man. What do you like? What do you like? It's the guy on the date again. What's your favorite color? Whatever you pick is my favorite color too. No. Stand on some freaking business. Standing on business like like Drewski said. I know you're I know you're trying to lean into being a good person, but sometimes it's okay to be a, a bit of a bad person. Or are we bad people? I don't know. Are we bad people? I oh, I can so. be a bad boy. I think we're just very critical of things. Yeah. Um yeah, why this not? This is who man? we are. This is just who we are. It's I'm sorry. Because we're bored. If I actually had, you know, nothing's like more I, I get very envious when they ask like a celebrity their take on something and they're like i literally don't know what that is i am mm. so submersed in my craft that you just mentioned to me like what did you just say what skims kim kardashian's underwear bro? what are you saying yeah and i'm like whoa there's a way out yeah, freaking not, did it. We're just hyper aware of everything. Social in the because we're like we're we we really are just random guys. We're just two random guys that just have a podcast. So we're not there yet. <laughs> and when we get rich, maybe we can start a podcast called just what's Emma Chamberlain's? Uh, three doors down. Whatever it's called, and and talk about hookup culture. Mm, from a distance, because like that's what a podcast is at that point is just a place to. Another place to make money. That's all it is. That's what we're doing right now. We're clocking in. Yeah, but we look at this as fun and and and. But we get the bo- both the Beth world, both the Beth world. Ugh. What am I saying? Oh my God, you have my issue. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. Both the best of both. <laughs> um, no, I'm very envious. I saw one day asked Joshua Hutcherson, the guy from FNAF and also Hunger Games, and they said. What do you think of the edits? And he's like, well, what is it, an edit? And it's like, ah. Oh. Maybe it's better if he doesn't know. And he said, the internet is very scary. And I said, Joshua, who hurt you? That's what I said when I saw the video. God, he's so cute, man. He doesn't know anything about the internet. He's just, oh he's my God, come But on. there's also stuff he's missing out bless on. Him, bless like him. very funny videos, like the one where... They, she says, who's going to clean your toilet, Donald Trump? <laughs> I would be devastated if I'd never seen that clip. <laughs> I know. That's such an iconic clip. And we had a p- last, what was it, last night? We were, Martin is so sure that she had a British accent. Comment down My below. My God. Comment down below, guys. Yeah, Mandela effect, I think. Like, I who's swear she had a little bit of a twang, a British twang to it. Which sounds more familiar. Correct. Who's going to clean your toilets, Donald Trump? Or... And who's going to clean your toilet, Donald Trump? You know, it's like one of those yeah. where it's like, could go either way. My God. Storms of freaking brewing in there. <clears throat> holistic, holistic. 
a holistic meal. There's a little bit of kiwi right there. I had a kiwi for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's worse things to burp. Kiwi's great. Yeah. Well, actually, speaking of burping, I noticed something that you did the other day when we were playing PlayStation 5. Farted. No, you burped, and then you went and blew it opposite direction. Oh, that's one of the things I'm, I'm proud to take from Arab culture. It's very... You make it obvious that you did burp. It's not, and it's usually not a, I didn't do a loud one. I hit a, or like a, you know, when it's in your mouth, Mm -hmm. it's like a, you did blow it right into my cat's face. He's fine. He is blown freaking bombastic diarrhea in my face every time I walk in here. Sorry. But, um, sorry. (laughs) Sorry. I didn't, now I'm thinking people are going to paint a picture of your home as it smells like diarrhea. Well, there is something wrong with fish's digestion. Poop. I don't know try. what's going on, but he goes once in the entire it's place. It's genetic. Smells. And I, we've tried all the different types of cat litter. So comment down below or something. <laughs> what cat litter should I use? Great call to action there. Yeah. Or just comment. And while you're at it and clicking out of this video or something, just go rate the podcast five stars. If you're listening on, on Spotify, Spotify, please just rate it five stars. It really helps a lot. Our Spotify wrap this year was pretty good, but... It was good for three months. We were in for three months. We're very excited for our next one. But our number one podcast, our number one episode for everything was Taylor Swift Hates the Planet. Yeah, we got to improve Martin. that. We got to improve that. Because they, they even had one of the pages that said, like, where you rank among other podcasts with, like, the ratings. Yeah. And because we're so low rated in terms of everybody else, um, they gave us a ranking and the rank name was Dumpster or something. It was like... It did not. Yeah, it said that. And I was like, what? Huh? Yeah, and they had emergency intercom was up there and it said legendary. It was like legendary, yeah. So mm. we got to get up there, and then I think insanely chill Cody Coe's was right omega of, or something crazy. Omega, yeah. like omega three fatty acids, because he's healthy and he's a runner. Yeah. So we got to get up there, guys. So please rate it. No, we were um, we're in the same category as Smartless. I don't know if you know that one. That's what it categorizes us on Spotify. You know that one? Smartless. Jason Bateman, Jack Bateman, Jason, who's the one who did Ozark? Statham? Ozark. Oh my God, I don't know him. I love him, he's he's awesome. What else was he in? He seems familiar. Zoophilia, the movie, he was the voice of the fox. What was the movie name? Zootopia. Zootopia, Topia, Topia. Yeah, he was the fox on that one. Jace, Jake. Oh, man, this one's going to bug me. Who directed Ozark? Let's see. Jason Bateman. Did I say that? Jason Bateman? Jason Is Patrick Bateman's brother? Sigma male? Jason Bateman. You're... That would check out. They look like they could be part of the same um, breed. Mm. But... um. I was coming somewhere with this. What did you do to well, me? Well, we were doing. Oh, burping. we're on smart list. We're on. Oh, oh. And then, oh, oh, you're going way back. Ooh, this is one of those podcasts. We have this one every once in a while where we're jumping from topic to topic even faster than usual. That's okay. It's okay. raw. It's it's because I had a prime this morning. Full transparency. Oh my god, you the, been, you the energy one. I gave him the rest of mine. So yeah, how is it treating you? Did we tell them your dilemma? How it what it did to you? Yeah, high yeah. blood pressure. Um, prime energy almost killed me. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, don't send me any more PR packages, please. Yeah, but I don't mind. No, I, 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 the craziest part, prime energy, prime hydration. I've DM'd them three times and I said, can I please have free prime? Because I have followers and I'm an influencer and I deserve to have some mm-hmm. little bit of free things. And they, <laughs> it's just the funniest response they gave me was, we don't give out free things. Yeah, they While lied. every single person around me from freaking Noah Miller to freaking Claire me. Drake to you, is getting, uh, I think no. I just picked my nose and itched my eye. Okay. I think I hear in a minute now. If Prime is watching this, if you are planning on sending me another PR package, don't send it to me and send it to him instead. Just email them an updated address. Say, hey, what? I'll just redirect them to you. I don't want to even deal with them because honestly, don't, I'm past that. I don't care about Prime Energy. I don't care about Mr. Beast Feastables. Mm. I don't want any of that. You don't want that. Because that's unhealthy. What about Chamberlain Coffee? She can freaking keep that. I want actual products that I will genuinely use and feel good about myself for using. Mm. Then maybe I'll promote it. Like, come on. Like health Stop focus. Stop killing me with these prime energies. 
this pro is processed and processed things like that. garbage almost made me tweak out and jump off my freaking balcony and then there'd be no more podcast maybe it's from impulsive the podcast and they saw that we were rising so they sent me prime so they could freaking kill me kill and give me you. a heart attack put me in cardiac arrest put you in cardiac arrest you're in a coma then it's just gonna be me ratings are gonna be down because there's some even though some people are here for me some are here for you as well they would leave, wait for you to come back. In the meantime, they focus on their podcast, grow, 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 grow. Grow, and now they're in legendary status. We're in the dumpster because we're a direct competitor to Impulsive. Damn it. I did your line. I did the, I'm practicing for when you die. Damn it. That's what he that's died. Yours. Damn it, he died. No, di don't damn it. Is you, you do the damn it. Damn you don't even, do you even realize that people, that's your tagline? And well, I just say when things are Damn awful. it. Damn it. He died. There you go. I can't even do it that good. Well, it's emotion. It's real emotion. I'm not <laughs> saying it. Damn it. Impulsive. They got us. That's going to be, yeah. that's going to be your last words on a ventilator. <laughs> Damn you. Curse you, Logan Paul. <laughs> Dude, honestly, though, you know, prime, the hydration drink is fine. It's the energy drink that sucks. That's. Yeah, well, I think I have a lot of pro problems with caffeine. I just don't know. I've done a corny amount of research about it. Let's let's put it at that. And it's always like, it's fine. It's totally fine. But the amount of caffeine you take daily, the effects of it will plateau to the point where it's you need to take caffeine to feel normal, mm -hmm. which is like, okay, so if I never do it, am I... Just as energetic throughout my day. Yeah. I don't, it's like, well, my. Well, I'll say right now, hot take. And, and I really do think that caffeine is not necessary. And I think we've been just been conditioned. But then there is a historical element to it. I get that. I uh, the get that. The Arabian but so is there, Spring. And, and they, it was largely because of coffee. They used to drink Hot cocoa has caffeine in it. If it's natural freaking cocoa. Dude. That's why the cocoa freaking wars happened because it was caffeine they were fighting i don't care about no cocoa wars and this and that i'm in love caffeine with the cocoa is on the same level as heroin yeah well in terms of well, withdrawals it's a I headache i swear it's it, a headache it's a headache but it's more than that i think it's, heroin you gives you more of a withdrawal even, than a headache yeah, i could not even get out of bed i could i'm like this is really like you start be, like feeling <sighs> foggy it's it's like subtle but it really screws you up <sighs> if you don't have caffeine and it's like and co and coffee so easy to grab so in delicious. It's so easy. It's like, oh, I'll just have a coffee and I'm now I'm gonna be better. Why is it that we we want it so bad? It's inspiring. Honestly, I think I think coffee is like one of the things that everyone's overlooking. Like it really is not good. I don't know. I should, no one should, Gilmore girls, man. It's all because of you guys. Screw you, Rory Gilmore. Really? What they do? Dude, watch the show and and their whole personality is coffee. It's insane. Chamberlain. Well, I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I am going to do a little bit of a thing here. Gilmore Girls, when I watched it with Mandy for the first time, with my Mandy, girlfriend, bro, I was genuinely shocked at how out of however the long the episode is, the 40 minutes that it runs, mm. I swear 20 minutes of it is talking about coffee. Half mm. the episode talks about coffee. And they drink it at like 11 p.m. Oh, man. Like I, they'll that's be like, want to go get a coffee? That's propaganda because that would... Oh, sorry. Just got a message from Cleveland inbound. Um, yes, that's propaganda. That's kind of the same vibe whenever I see on Netflix a show of kids dating their moms. Mm -hmm. I say, okay, this is the porn industry paying for this show. Gilmore Girls is just the big coffee industry mm -hmm. paying to subtly... Propaganda. It influenced my girlfriend. She watched Gilmore Girls, and now she drinks coffee like a freaking lunatic. And she thinks she's a freaking Gilmore girl doing yeah, it. Yeah, she thinks she's what Rory Gilmore? Gilmore. She's trying to trying to dress like all the girls are trying to dress like Rory Gilmore. So it's just soft power. It's like political. Soft girl, visco girl mixed into one clean girl aesthetic. Is that what it is? Too add that one in, make a dirty concoction, and that's Rory Gilmore. And that and that's that's a pipeline of the alt right somehow gotta be what's cleveland yapping about just a really nice message we did a <laughs> we did a um webinar with cleveland state university 
was like nine people and half of them didn't know who we were but they were so nice they were look they were sweet we straight up say yes to anything right now if you're a brand if you're a college if you're a freaking prime a hydration company and we get an email from you a dm it's yes Pretty much every time, unless it's anything creepy. It's it's just because we're su- in such a volatile and vulnerable state. Take advantage of us. We invite take you to advantage take advantage of us. Of us. Hey, but I also never love will. to you never do will things. Be able to. Yeah, me too. Me like too. tomorrow. Do you know what we have booked tomorrow? We're going to a lobster burger bar. Oh my God, that's tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I'm super excited. I got I, Yeah, it's, is, is it in the Google Calendar? Yeah. We have a Google Calendar set up with all these little events that we're going to pop out. Just at. this lobster burger bar is some... Freaking cooking fever ass restaurant name. It's like we're having a brunch. Because cause I've been left out. Mm-hmm. We're always left out of the uh, stuff we could go. We're not in Los Angeles. We can't. Hey, David Dobrik. Hey, we can't do that. We're left with what we can have. Lobster burger bar, cocktail attire. And what is it? What is that attire? I don't even know. Is this lobster attire? <laughs> the lobster attire. <laughs> I'm gonna, it, you know, you're right. It is a cooking fever ass restaurant. Like, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna be one of those customers that's like, huh, uh, like grumbling. <laughs> Come on, in my meter, like the waiting so time fast. It's gonna be so God, fast. You gotta feed me a cupcake. No, that's sure I stay actually stresses me out. Um, if you guys don't know, you can actually send us your dilemmas, your problems, and we will solve them. Instagram out of character pod is the official Instagram. DM it with your problem. Voice message or text, it, you know, real life drama, anything, and we'll get we'll get to the bottom of it, won't yeah. we? Oh, um, ugh, I don't know if you want to plug it right now, but it starts with the P, ends with O box. Should we should we wait? Uh, let's wait on that because we don't have it. In, we don't have it. But the, um, the, but I'm saying like so they can look out for it. Okay, Maybe we might make up, but that's for slushy news. Well, it could be for both. Well, we are, we're going to have a P.O. box and we're going to open up everything on Slushy Noobs. Yeah. Just look out for that. Yes. Um, and also Patreon. Every week I do a solo alone. That's really where you see all the controversial clips on TikTok. That is true. Somehow. All the ones that get the most rage. Honestly. It's because you're not there to check was, me. That's the truth. That's what it is. And I get loose. I get Sometimes I'll say something on the solo and I'm like, where's Martin? I need him. I, I, no, I shouldn't and have slipped. Yeah, and, and, and that last one was crazy. Yeah, so I, so if you want that, patreon.com slash OOC pod. Try it out for a month. Go binge Five them, bucks. binge them, and then you can dip or whatever you want. Five Just dollars. Watch all of them. Make it a, a, a podcast marathon. Oh, that's fun. All right. Let's see what you guys are up to here. Um. Oh, many people are sending... Um, Yes, they're wrapped, which is really cool. Love to see that. A lot of you guys are up there. Yeah, let's try the, to make um, it for next year. We just, I, I want to be number one podcast in the world. Is that for possible? everybody, yes, that would be great. Um, Sorry, it always takes me a second because I get through some of you who have very interesting things to say. Um, Hi, Hamza and Martin. Hamza, this is me shooting my shot. Labello, Labello? Lamello. Lamello ball challenging challenge style please let me know if you guys would ever do a dating show or something on the noobs i would love to partake a dating show i could run it if you want to do like a bachelor style why don't you join in so you can date um we'll just be pretend you don't actually have to date them no i know uh, yeah um yeah i'll have to check with in with mandy mm. so what but if I she th- what I if we have her to date other guys her and just 20 ethnic guys who are all like Oh, okay. Oh, I'll have to run it by her. I hope she says no. T- says hi, Hamza and Martin. Oh, please do not read my name. It was the first thing that I skipped. What'd you say? I said their name. I read their name. Didn't I? But they don't know who. I said their name. They said not to read. I gotta remember. Okay. You want to skip it? No, no. I'll read it. But I just want. S- I have to go back and bleep the. Oh, okay. You know, the power sure. of editing. Yes. Hi, Hamza. I got to remind myself, though. Hey, Siri, remind me. Hey, Siri, remind me in one hour and 30 minutes to make sure that I I bleeped out their name. Did I get it? Okay. Hi, Hamza and Martin. I'm 22, female in London. I was speaking to a guy for a few weeks. I met him on an app, and we've been speaking really consistently since. 
He's the first guy I've linked uh, in a few years. Okay, British. Mm. British. We've had a few phone calls, and basically at the end of the most recent one, he asked me if I wanted to see him now. I screamed because I knew that he meant he catfished me. Huh? He sent me photos, and I'm not fat phobic, but he looked like a monster. I Whoa. instantly felt my dis my feelings disappear. I feel awful. It's so odd to me that he intentionally catfished me. I intended in a few days after saying I'm just too busy for anything, which is true. Wait, didn't you any link with him? Yeah, but she, she saw him and Oh, IRL. Yeah. Which is TBF. What does that mean? Which is true to I be fair. True be fair. British freaking lingo here. I ended it a few days after saying I'm just too busy for anything, which is true, TBF. I'm doing a post-grad course. It was obvious he knew that I was ending it because he was a chubster, more British freaking lingo, and seemed really upset. A-I-T-A. -A. Am I the asshole? P.S. Do more British accents. Okay. So we can give advice in a British accent for this one. So basically what I'm reading here is you met up with a, with a lad online. Yeah, and he had a bit of kilos on him. A couple of extra stone. Stone? Stone. It's equivalent the British equivalent to the pound. Okay. So a little bit extra stone on him. Not really what you bargained for to begin with. Mm -hmm. But honestly, could be worse. Could be a serial killer. Could be a, a molester. A nonce. A nonce, yeah. You nonce. don't want to be with a nonce. Like I say, like my, my granddad. <laughs> like my daddy said. <laughs> father. Like my father says. A couple more pushing for the loving. A couple, what is it? Pushing for the cushion. A little bit more cushion for the pushing. Oh, <laughs> I just want to freaking easy emo or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of uh, a little bit of weight. No, nah, but if he got actually bumble cup stolen on him, then to I mean, be depends. Fair, did he lie or did he not? She said he straight up catfish. I mean, if he lied, then yeah, you can just walk out. Why not? Are you gonna? You lie gotta be str straight up and be well. Don't okay, try to wait. Hide it, there's differences though. Did he is he using old pictures of himself and now he is. Heavy set. Oh, that is that's a, a dilemma. That's um, a struggle. Using old pictures. Okay, if he's using old pictures, that's a problem that he needs to exactly. Deal with himself. It's above. It's more than yeah, weight. You can't be doing that. It's more than a weight issue. Yeah. It's a. It's a. You don't like who you are now. Like I'm yeah. confused. Or save yourself the 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 embarrassment in a way. Like save yourself. Like. Be upfront, be honest. Some like someone will like you for who you are. Possibly. No, no. Not, uh, like, why would you lie and say this is how I look like? Dude, now there's a freaking on. song. I need a big boy. That's actually real and it's SZA made it. It's yeah. an SNL skit. I need a big boy. Like just how big though, right? Like SZA doesn't ever say there's that. There's a woman so for every know. man. I'm saying we don't know for this guy. SZA was a little bit of a poser. She was thinking like more like me. Muscular? Yeah, like muscles like me oh. and stuff. I'm actually not a big boy. No, there's nothing wrong with the weight in in the sense it's the it's the lying of it. It's the it's the catfishing of it all. Here's your advice to you, all right? Let him know. First of all, you were charming, and I actually thought I liked you, but, but you lied. But you lied, and honestly, if you would have told me ahead of time, wouldn't have a problem with it. You had good chat and you had everything, but honestly, like. You've lied to me, and the catfishing is just not what I what I'm all about. So you can actually just, you know, f off, f off. No, what do they say? Just carry on. Just mug him off. <laughs> just mug him off. Good luck with that, and hopefully, I remember to bleep your name. If not, the chances of both of you listening would be um, very interesting. Actually, hi, I'm a 17 year old girl lucky and my dilemma is that i am a high school senior and i'm unbelievably stressed about college educations i ed'd to a school 
And I got my results in December 15th. And I have honestly lost so much motivation to do my other apps, but I know I should work on them. There is really a good chance I don't get into an early decision school. I don't even know what that means. Did you or Martin apply to colleges? How do you manage the stress during the process? Well, first of all, I, I didn't get a chance to apply in the U.S., but I was fully prepped to apply. And I'll tell you this, it is much more difficult than up here in Canada. In Canada, all you, all you do is say it's actually a joke. It's a, You don't realize how much of a joke it is. You just apply with your 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 12th grade grades. Yeah. No, you can't even add an... I wanted an essay. I'm like, can I let y'all know I'm like some, a... Some, some. Some? Yes, it, depending on the school, the, okay. they, they'd like an essay, but yeah. Not even required? No SAT, no ACT, no clubs. They don't care about curriculars, really, right? Am I getting this right? Nah, as long as you have your community. I mean, Stay it, close. Yeah, it's kind, of like a, it's kind of like a resume. I mean, you can put that in your application if there's... If they, prompt you for it but some are just there's like, literally there's no yeah. spot to fill it in that's what i remember well depending on what school you apply to i didn't apply to the best ones. yeah the prestigious though. ones or whatever yeah they'll 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 take anything if you want to add your community hours all that garbage look just chill out you're fine is this canadian no it's us by the lingo i'm assuming well, that's all you yeah it's definitely different up here so that's all you i don't know i mean i mean stress during that time i mean what's the point of stressing though like, if you've applied, you just have to wait for the decision. I mean, you can't really do much. They said they have more. You just remind me, and I, I don't mean derogatorily. Sorry, these burps are really getting to me. Um, when I was younger, at, at this time, I wasn't that str I wasn't stressed out about this at all. And when I would see someone like you, it actually kind of pissed me off. Because I was like, I was like, ugh. But really, I was just uh, ref deflecting, reflecting, inversing or whatever that I was actually stressed about mm -hmm. mine. You're you just were, trying to ignore it. You were reminding me that I was how much stuff I was ignoring. So that's the first thing that comes to my mind. So my instinct from that is to tell you to chill out. That's my inner child. No, you Here really do have to chill out because like you were going to stress yourself into a freaking heart attack or something. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, if you're very young, you're 17. School is school. If you're going to get into a school, you're fine, you know? Yeah, it's also not an end-all, be-all, to be honest. Like, now that I'm, like, older, I'm like, okay, wait, there's people who just, like, went to work. And it's just, it's all, I, it's predestined. Yeah. You, at 22, and whatever school exists here in three years ago, is already predicted. That's how I like to think about it. So you do your job and let the universe pick a community college for your ass. Because you didn't focus up enough <laughs> and you didn't want Um... No, just kidding. Good luck, and no, don't. Uh, you're you're fine. Hi, Hamza. Need some and Martin. Oh, I skipped you. Sorry. I need some advice. So recently, found out my parents have been hiding an older sister from me, and my brother has a dad. Ha, and my brother, as my dad, had a baby with another woman before he was born. Hang on, let's do this one more time. Whoa. I found out my parents have been hiding an older sister from me. And my brother, as my dad, as my dad, had a baby with another woman before we was born. Okay. What would what I do, do in, in this, this situation? What do you mean? This is Dude, AI, this is like that one AI. meme where the freaking giant meteor is about to hit Earth. And it's like, what would you do in this situation? <laughs> I don't freaking know. It's like that one where it's a... It's like the depiction of LSD, and it's like, name one thing in this room. Yeah. That's how I felt when I just read yeah. this. And it's always family stuff gets me really confused. It's yeah. Like Whitaker family. Hold up. Let me try and figure this out here. Try to Okay, read. ready? Yeah, I found. My parents have been hiding an older sister from me and my brother. So, my dad had a baby with another woman before they were born. Okay, so so they just have this like. Oh, it actually sister. wasn't. Okay, it wasn't. That I crazy. can't read. It's the I punctuation. The, yeah, I think it's the girl. You Punctuate. Need to, you need to yeah separate your sentences. You should have focused on your applications, your college Come applications. On. Um, what you would do in that situation is understand that if your mom is understanding of that, right? Your dad didn't cheat or anything. He just had a a, 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 a kid with someone else. I mean, I don't know the, lo the logistics of that. I think it was more common than actually. Yeah, not. I don't know if he like ran out on them or anything like that. I mean, I hope not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like one of those like, oh yeah, like I had a kid, like I just didn't feel like I should tell you because it's like maybe they, they were not on good terms and it's like you keep the kid, see ya kind of thing. Mm. So, hey, I mean, I guess you found out. So maybe it's like, hey, if you want to reach out, you can or you just go your separate ways. I mean, y'all are just 
humans. You're an adult. You sound like an adult as yeah, well. Yeah, you guys so are just well. humans. You don't have to connect with them at all if you feel, like, stressed about that. Make Maybe make a story time on TikTok with a few parts. Make them one Act, minute long hey, so you can monetize that. That's really smart, actually. I would tune in. That's I tea. would tune in, too. What if someone asked for advice and it was really just, like, Nick, one of Nick Cannon's, like, kids? And they're like, hi, please keep my name private. Um, So, basically, my dad... Um, he keeps having kids with different moms and we're at nine right now. Yeah, and he refuses to get neutered and... And sometimes he wears a... Doesn't he wear some sort of t- turban or something? He has funky styles. I don't know if it's a religious Mr. Cannon. I, I'm sorry if it is. He's always got some something new on his head. It's definitely going to be me when I go bald and when I always have something well, fun. The way he w- makes money is literally just by being in the news and just having sex with women so that he can have kids so that he could just stay in the news forever. Wow. It's actually a different should path. I, should I try down. that business model? Well, that's just like a backup plan. Like when things fail, he had a music career. I think he also was on TV. He had the Nick Cannon show or something. Wild and Out or Wild something. Out. Yeah, like when things fail. You, you know what he, he was sex. really great at? And people forget it. Well, having sex. Well, yes, but also freaking doing um, the, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get ahead of myself with the advice. America's Got Talent. He did that? I really liked oh. him. My God, he was the guy who would shoo people out onto the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was okay, like, go. It's your turn. Go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Hamza and Martin. My name's Amanda, and I'm from BC, Canada. I'm 18, and I moved out on my own a few months ago, and it's been brutal. It's been super isolating, and I felt super purposeless. I've just felt super purposeless. The list was coming in there. I'm moving to Vancouver for school in the summer, but I really don't know what to do with this weird limbo period that I'm in. I was wondering if you have had any ideas for things that I can do on my own to hopefully give me a little more purpose for the next eight months. Eight months? Why eight months? You want a purpose for the next eight months? Is that how long you're living alone for, I guess? I think that's when the semester starts. Okay, so like let's just assume, yeah, so eight months is the timeline, how to get a purpose in eight months. This could be a book. Wow. Um, school? That's what's coming in eight months. That's what we're preparing for. Okay. Connect with the world. Find something um, in the physical reality that is real, that is not the internet that is happening, that you attend. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a Pilates class. Start there. Okay. Working out, maybe exercise. And you meet someone there. Mm -hmm. Ask them where they go to school. Oh, my God. I'm going to go there in the beginning of the school year, Mm. too. Why don't we go freaking get some boba and then... And then, I don't know, maybe it's romantical as well. Maybe you find out that you're a lesbian and things yeah. like that. Well, that's good. Um, I like I like the idea of maybe getting a hobby mm-hmm. of some sort. Just trying to find something you like. Um, even the process of finding a hobby is considered a hobby. So just, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just exploring things. So maybe start drawing. Uh, maybe, you know, play some video games if you haven't, if you have never played video games. Like just, yeah, go for walks, hike. Build a little bit of a personality so that when you, not saying that you don't have one, I'm saying build something that you can talk about when you go to school to people. Hey, I started hiking in the last eight months. I've been hiking a lot, whatever. Something like that. That's fun. Yeah, just keep yourself sane. You got to be talking to people. That's the big one. That is. The socialization is Either online or not. So that's my biggest advice. And have something to talk about. Okay. Don't, yeah. Don't just walk up to people. Which is practicing. It's keeping your yeah. your conversation yeah. sharp. But it's nice. It's nice. But I'm saying for the confidence, it's like it's nice to have something of your own, so that when you do talk to people, you you're like, hey, I do this on my own. Like I don't need anybody. So then you can talk about it, and you feel more confident and present in the conversation. I like that. Thank you for submitting your advice, everyone. So I always appreciate how vulnerable you guys are are with us. There's a lot more. Um, but we can't get to all of them. I will get to what I can over on Patreon. Other than that, feel free to submit your your things on the Instagram. Yeah. Thanks for being here, y'all. And uh, what? We'll see him next week? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Actually, am I in this one the next week? Yes. Am I going to be present there? You're going to be present. Any calls to action you have? No. Um. I guess the only thing I can say is have a freaking bombastic day. <laughs>